Hello and welcome to St. Michael Catholic High School. My name is Danny Palumbo and I'm honored to be the new principal here at St. Mike's. Now normally at this time of year, we'd be inviting families and students into the building to witness the amazing things that are going on in and out of the classroom. Now even though things may look and feel a little different procedurally, inside these walls, the same great things are extremely important to us. Growth mindset, strong relationships, and high expectations and standards. We're extremely proud of what we stand for here at St. Michael. At the root of everything we do is our Catholic faith, where children have the opportunity to live and meet the Catholic graduate expectations through our religious education courses and our many social justice initiatives. Hi there, my name is Trudy Chang and I am your new chaplaincy leader here at St. Michael's Catholic High School. I'm very happy to be here and to welcome the students back into this space. This is our chapel, it's a beautiful area and we are currently having all the classes back into the area in the space in a safe way where we're discussing our new spiritual theme. I belong here, together we are God's good news. So we're talking about what that means, having prayer services with the classes. We're working on our Thanksgiving liturgy and we're having a Thanksgiving fall food drive. So those are some of the things that we're doing and I'm just so happy to reconnect with the students and introduce them to spirituality and uh, the chapel in St. Michael's. We're hoping that this video will give you an idea of what your child is up to every day while they're in our care. You'll hear from some of our grade 7-8 teachers and also from some of our program leaders. Students in our high school panel are taking two credits over a nine week period, called the quadmester. Whereas students in our grade seven and eight panel are taking all of their courses from the beginning of the day until the end of the day, and the only difference is that they stay in the same room and the teacher rotates. We're very happy to be operating in a more normal fashion this year with courses like co-op, foods, art, tech, and music all operating also with strict COVID protocols in place. We're very excited to have sports back up and running here at St. Michael. We know our athletes have missed that component of their school life. We're also very excited to have other clubs and activities running both at lunch and after school.
My name is Krista Van Gaal, and I've been part of the Science Department here at St. Michael for the last 17 years. We have a lot of great things to offer our students in their pursuit of 21st century learning. All of our grade 9 and 10 science courses are organized into five focused strands. It begins with a short unit on scientific investigation skills and then proceeds into the disciplines of biology, chemistry, physics, and earth space science. The scientific skills section really becomes a reoccurring practice as all of the other strands involve students completing lab activities that link to particular curriculum expectations. Upon completion of the 9 and 10 science program, students have the opportunity to delve into each strand deeply on a full course level in the grade 11 and 12 courses. Currently, in the 9 and 10 science courses running here this semester, there is a big focus on getting back to the hands-on part of science. Our students are getting those much-needed concrete examples that give a real face to abstract concepts. Bonjour, je m'appelle Madame Chantal Ayotte and I am one of the French teachers at St. Michael's Catholic High School in the high school panel and I'm pleased to speak on behalf of my colleagues in the French department. Alors ici à St. Michael, dans les départements français, on essaie de créer un centre de communauté where the students feel like they belong to a larger French family, French community. Uh, le conseil normalement organise des voyages à Québec et en France uh, given that our restrictions are lifted, we're hoping that the board will resume uh, planning Quebec trips and a trip to France. Um, we also acknowledge important dates um, that come up in the French cultures, comme la Journée Franco-Ontarienne, qui est le 25 septembre. Nous, on va la célébrer le 23. So on the 23rd, we will have students say the prayer in French, we'll have announcements in French, and various activities in our immersion and core um, courses that the students understand the importance of celebrating uh, French community in Ontario. Uh, we also look to prepare students to real life experiences. So we also prepare our students for a bilingual certification, which we refer to as the DELF, le Diplôme d'études de langue française, should the students like to pursue that additional qualification. Uh, in our civics course, we have students work on their French CVs. And the employers in the community know that we do have some students, not necessarily first language francophone, but also very fluent in both English and French. In our histoire, in our cours d'histoire, our students do participate in the trench project and we continue to add to our trenches. In Religion du Monde, uh, students uh, have the opportunity to experience what it is like to do Métis jigging. Um, also, with outside of our courses, we also like to incorporate Français. Uh, so, for example, in the Remembrance Day, we always make sure that our French community is included in our Remem Remembrance Day celebrations or ceremonies. And as well, our chamber choir, through Madame Calasser, uh, has students sing French repertoire um, for her future concert. Hello friends and family of St. Michael Catholic High School. My name is Kelly Nidre, and I'm proud to say that I'm your Athletic Director for our 2021-2022 school year. On behalf of, the, of our Physical Education Department and our athletic team, I want to relay the following message. Tough days won't last, but tough people do. 
Our physical education teachers and coaching staff are so tough that we rise by lifting others. And FYI, we can also be known to lift the odd weight in our state-of-the-art fitness room. Our Mustangs are going to carry on during this pandemic, raise our roof with school spirit, and develop athletes by taking all the safety precautions recommended by our health unit, our board, as well as OFSA and OFIA to get our student athletes away from their screens, out of the houses, and back into our house, home of the Mustangs. Even though your child missed a year of high school sport, please send them our way as we are ready to work on technique, develop sport specific skills, and improve fitness levels and teach them about teamwork, commitment, work ethic, self-improvement, but most importantly, we're gonna have fun and we're going to rebuild. The gym is open at lunch, there will be intramurals, and the fall varsity sports seasons are already underway. We have cross country running for both intermediate and high school, golf, boys volleyball, girls basketball, as well as intermediate soccer. We look forward to seeing the whole school out for our Mustang Marathon of Hope, just to keep Terry Fox's dream alive. And if your athletes have the will, we can develop the skill. We look forward to a competitive and fun season Mustangs, and we look forward to getting to know your child outside of the classroom. My name is Andrew Galbraith and I'm the Mathematics Program Lead here at St. Michael's. To start the school year, our Mustang mathematicians have been revisiting the skills and strategies that they have learned in previous grades in order to strengthen the mathematical foundation on which they will continue to build this year. We are very excited to roll out the new D-Stream Grade 9 Math Curriculum which will see students continue to investigate linear and non-linear relationships and explore financial literacy and coding. At different times throughout the year, math leads from all grades will have the opportunity to participate in the Waterloo Math Contests. Any students interested in these contests should speak with their math teacher or with me to find out more information. Once again, we'll be running our weekly math club, offering extra math help in the library Wednesdays after school from 2.20 until 3.20 p.m. Our grade seven and eight staff are pleased to welcome our new grade seven and welcome back our grade eight. In our English classes, our students will be exploring inclusivity through literature. In religion, we will be taking part in the Umbrella Project, where we will develop strategies help us deal with our daily stress, understanding our strengths and our opportunities for growth. Across our other subject matter, students will be building questions in an inquiry-rich environment. We are very excited to be able to offer extracurricular sports again this year at St. Michael's. Our sports season will be starting with soccer and cross country, but will also include sports like basketball, hockey, and volleyball. Thank you for joining us with our Welcome Back Meet the Teacher video. We hope you found it informative and if you need any further information, please feel free to reach out to your child's teacher or to Mr. Palumbo or myself, Ms. Mackler, in the main office. Thank you.